Hello to all enthusiasts of advanced military technologies. Today, we introduce you to one of Iran's most astonishing defense achievements, the Fatah hypersonic missile, a weapon that has changed the entire regional security equation. Do you want to know how this missile can bypass the most advanced defense shields at Mach 15 speed? Stay with me and get familiar with the amazing technology of the FADA missile. The FADA-1 and FADA-2 missiles were officially unveiled in 2023 during two ceremonies attended by high-ranking Iranian officials. The commander of the IRGC Aerospace Force described it as a generational leap in Iran's missile industry. Videos released from FATA's operational tests showcase the outstanding capabilities and power of this weapon. Iran declared that the primary goal of developing FATA was to overcome advanced missile defense systems like Aero and Thad. The IRGC emphasized that this weapon is designed solely for deterrence and defensive purposes. With this missile, Iran can challenge any aerial or missile threat. FATA is designed with an approximate range of 1,400 kilometers and can fly at speeds of Mach 13 to 15. This extraordinary speed allows it to penetrate enemy defense systems rapidly and unpredictably. The missile uses solid fuel, which enhances quick response and ease of preparation. Its initial booster is designed similarly to Iranian satellite launch vehicle boosters and is fully indigenous. This feature allows Iran to launch the missile instantly, without the need for real-time fueling. The missile body and fins are made of carbon fiber and high temperature resistant composite materials. This design reduces the missile's overall weight and enhances its endurance at hypersonic speeds. Additionally, the surface features radar absorbent coatings for superior stealth against enemy radars. The rear fins stabilize and control the missile's flight path. FATA is equipped with a conical warhead capable of performing extreme maneuvers in the final stage. The warhead contains a small motor with thrust vector control nozzles activated near the target. This motor allows the warhead to adjust its trajectory and perform complex evasive maneuvers. Its high speed and agility make interception by enemy defenses almost impossible. FADA's guidance system has not been officially disclosed, but it likely uses a combination of INS and terminal seekers. This system allows the missile to maintain its path even under electronic warfare conditions. Iran has significant experience in deploying such technologies in its ballistic missile arsenal. Advanced guidance and control have dramatically increased FATA's strike accuracy. The missile's aerodynamic body is designed to minimize drag and enhance stability at hypersonic speeds. The conical nose and elongated body improve atmospheric penetration efficiency. Light composite materials withstand the extreme pressures and shocks of launch and atmospheric re-entry. The FATA warhead is declared conventional and non-nuclear, weighing between 350 and 450 kilograms. Its conical shape improves aerodynamics and reduces drag during flight. Western media have speculated about heavier warhead capabilities, but Iran insists on its conventional role. The warhead is designed to destroy critical enemy targets with high precision and power. Fatah is launched from mobile ground platforms using specially designed vehicles. The mobile launcher allows concealment and rapid relocation across diverse regions. The missile is launched in a short time, and the launcher immediately leaves the area. This tactic significantly reduces the risk of pre-launch detection and destruction. FATA's flight profile combines ballistic and hypersonic trajectories. The missile first ascends beyond the atmosphere and then separates the warhead. 
The warhead re-enters the atmosphere at about 300 kilometers altitude and dives toward the target. This mixed trajectory makes detection and interception by defense systems extremely difficult. Fata's stealth is achieved through special coatings and radar absorbing materials. Flying part of the path outside the atmosphere minimizes radar detection. Sudden and extreme warhead maneuvers in the terminal phase confuse enemy tracking systems. This combination dramatically enhances the power and effectiveness of FATA. FATA has been developed as one of Iran's most important deterrence tools. Its capability to threaten distant targets increases the cost of any potential attack decision against Iran. The missile is part of Iran's strategy to strengthen its active defense doctrine. The primary aim behind FATA's development is to balance power and reduce external threats. The IRGC has stated that achieving this technology is the result of decades of domestic expert effort. FATA has placed Iran among the few countries worldwide with hypersonic missile capability. Iran has stressed that the missile's development is strictly for defensive and deterrence purposes. Global media have both admired and expressed concern over Iran's progress in this area. Some reports indicate that Iran may have used early versions of FATA in the October 2024 attacks. Analyses suggest impact debris showed characteristics similar to the FATA-1 missile. If these reports are true, it means FATA has already seen real-world operational use. This demonstrates that the missile is not just symbolic, but battle-tested as well. After the unveiling of FATA, the United States sanctioned networks linked to Iran's missile program. This move reflected Western government's concerns about Iran's growing missile capabilities. Iran has rejected these sanctions and reaffirmed its commitment to enhancing its deterrence power. Development and continuous testing of advanced variants of FATA remain ongoing.